And okay. So again, after I ask the question just a little. Okay. So, um, what is your name? My name is Matthew Godfrey. And what do you do? I am the state sea turtle biologist for North Carolina. And what does a state sea turtle biologist do? The state sea turtle biologist uh, coordinates almost all the activities related to sea turtle management in the state. So that includes things like research, monitoring, uh, permitting, and commenting on certain projects. And what is behind you? Behind me is the Repass Education Center at the Duke University Marine Lab. And what do you guys do here? I hear the Marine Lab uh, does a lot of marine related research uh, on sea turtles. They do migratory research on migrations, they do research on feeding, foraging, and aging. The aging? What aging. A little bit of aging, yes. Uh, aging, how, how long did sea turtles live? How long does it take them to grow, to mature? Things like that. And how did you become interested in sea turtles? I was actually really interested in traveling to tropical countries and an opportunity came up for me to work on a sea turtle project in Suriname, which is in South America, and so I really wanted to go there, so I took the job and discovered during that process that I really like sea turtles and I liked working with them and have done it ever since. Why are sea turtles important? Sea turtles are an important component of the marine ecosystem. Um, they serve multiple roles. Um, for instance, they do a lot of transport of nutrients and energy, say from the ocean to the beach. And then they transport nutrients from the ocean to the beach, from the beach back to the ocean. Um, they supply a lot of different food chains. Uh, they help regulate diversity in coral reefs. Um, even their shells, because they support a lot of different barnacles and other epibionts, their shells are sources of biodiversity within the ocean. So they serve multiple functions in the ocean. What can kids do to help with sea turtles and learn more about them? Well, there's all, there are lots of things that they can read, um, either in books or on the web. And www.seaturtle.org is a really good place to start. It's a repository of lots of information about sea turtles. Um, what they can do, actions, they could reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, if we could reduce our impact on the environment, that would be great. For instance, plastic bags, try not to use too many plastic bags, and if you do use them, try to reuse them, because if plastic bags up at, end up in the ocean, they could look like jellyfish, which is one of the things that sea turtles eat, and if they do eat them, that could end up hurting them or killing them. And how long have sea turtles been around? Sea turtles have been around for tens of millions of years. The, the very first sea turtle that showed up was over 200 million years ago, but that species is no longer um, in existence. The sea turtles we have today have been around for at least 100 million years. And so were they around during the time of the dinosaur? Absolutely. Sea turtles are living dinosaurs. And, and can you state your name again, please, sure. what my, you do? My name is Matthew Godfrey, and I am the sea turtle biologist for the state of North Carolina. Thank you.